Hello everyone, I'm Sars and you're with the Bangkok Post. Today, I'm here in Jilongkong University in Bangkok. And walking around here for a while, I noticed that there are many trees, large ones, planted in the area of university. They'll provide shade and greenery for July people. However, have you wondered how these plants are maintained to stand for years without falling? And today we will meet with the lecturer of the Department of Nuclear Technology at the university who has taken part in developing a tree scanning device using gamma ray technology in order to determine the internal condition of a tree which could prevent them from falling. So talking about the scanning device, actually it was, it has been the research that's been going on in the department for quite a while already. The technique is actually very basic. I mean, we have used it in, in many industrial, in many applications already. But the, the point that sparked this device is because the in Jula Longkorn University, there are so many big trees. And you know, that is a special like sector, I'm not sure the name, but they taking care of the health of the big trees because um, big trees, they are very old tree and there could be some kind of cavity inside according to the year that it has passed. And when the weather gets very severe, like when there is a storm, when there is a rainy season or something like that, the big trees inside um, Jolanungkorn University always collapse. In that case, and there was actually some accidents that has been going on like quite a while already. So it sparked the idea for our department to apply this kind of gamma transmission technique, which I can um, elaborate later on, into this specific like cavity, um, cavity scanning of a big trees. So the objective of this um, device is to um, measure the cavity inside to assess the health of the big trees inside Jula Lungkorn University. But we, we have also done some, some kind of testing outside the university to it depending on the request of the organization. So, um, like I have mentioned, so the device worked by the gamma transmission technique. Um, the gamma transmission uh, transmission techniques come from the radiation source. So the radiation source that we have used for this is uh, cesium-137. So the radiation source uh, naturally there, they because of their natural like um, properties, they are not stable. So they um, irradiate the gamma radiation, which works works like a light so they always um, irradiate some radiation out and then we use another device to detect this um, gamma radiation count so it's called a detector so uh, one radiation source and on one side and then the detector on the other side and if there is nothing in in the middle so the detector will count all the gamma radiation that is pinging on the detector and we get the signal we get the information that okay this is however many gamma radiation that coming to the detector and then um, if there is some kind of like materials or object inside the radiation will attenuate according to the property of that uh, of that object so um, like I said earlier the assessment of the health of the tree one of the factor is the internal structure of the tree like the hollow so what radiation technique can give you the information is the exact location of the hollow and uh, the location and the size of the hollow and then after that uh, you have to consult with the experts. So, uh, like I said, this uh, kind of device has been developed for many prototypes. So, every every better prototype based on the experience of the user uh, for that specific prototype. I think the previous version and this version that is the the biggest jump because when we when we went out scanning for that previous version we have some mechanical problem sometimes the device uh, the detector already moved forward and the gamma radiation is not there yet so it's very difficult to set up the alignment so this device here that you see on this video clip you will see that it's mechanically designed to sync together so well and it's um, built by the, the piece of mechanic I'm not an expert but I have the researcher who has the mechanical background Background, he decided this kind of gear that will align everything all together so we can make sure that it's 
goes well together. And also in the previous prototype, we have to kind of one step and then measure, and then we have to place the button and move to the other step. With this uh, new prototype too, uh, we just place one button and then the whole mechanism will go from one end of the tree to the next end of the tree. And another step is that uh, normally we will collect the information on the laptop, which may have to connect to the device in a very short distance. But well, everyone knows about radiation. Nobody wants to be near the radiation. So this prototype then develops such that the operator can be a little or further away, and then they can control the device using the mobile phone too. As mentioned in the interview, the experts and researchers here have continued to develop this device in order to expand its benefit to the society in the future. For this, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.